everybody this is Donna at Diamond Art Joy welcome welcome to my channel uh, today um, look at this I got a big old cylinder here this is gonna be my biggest project to date um, and I think I'm ready to start tackling it little by little um, this is uh, one of my unicorn kits uh, my husband actually bought this for me and I'm so excited because I told him you know I kind of wanted to try one of these it is a Josephine wall canvas it's called earth angel and um, let's see what the other specs are on this one it is from Diamond Painting Deutschland, and I think they call themselves Blue Max now. But um, I ordered from them, I guess once, because I got this and a couple more canvases. And um, Josephine Wall is just, I mean, I love her art. It's just so colorful and it blends. Yes, it's a lot of confetti. I think I'm prepared for that. I mean, I say that now. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, Josephine Wall Earth Angel is 250 colors. It is double-sided adhesive. Oh, this is my first double-sided adhesive, y'all. A little nervous. Can already see some bubbles and rivers here and over here. Hopefully, I can fix those. I have watched a few videos on how to fix that, so I'm going to give it a try. And the size is 100 by 75 centimeters. It is a square. Uh, you know, you look at something this big and you're like, oh my gosh, where do I start? Well, the first thing I did was I got on YouTube and I started looking at some of the community folks, their channels. And specifically, I found Kimba at Kimba's Crafts. I mean, I love her channel. She's great. You guys should check her out if you don't have her in your subscription um, boxes already. But um, she did this same canvas, and she finished it this year. And I watched all of her videos, and I was just cheering her on. It's just amazing, you know, how dedicated and focused she was. And... As far as kidding up, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, with 250 colors, how the heck am I going to organize 250 colors? Well, Kimba, I call you Kimba, I know your name is Kim, but Kimba, she did all the work. Um, she came up with her own system and it seemed to work well for her. And I thought, well, gosh, why reinvent the wheel? Why don't I just try this system and see if it works for me? If not, you know, I can change it and organize my drills differently. So, I think she spent <laughs> hours and hours, maybe even a week or more, uh, doing her kitting up and, and categorizing her drills. It's taken me hours to actually do the kit up process too. With 250 colors, it takes a while to open those bags and pour them into a container if you're using, you know, containers and putting your label on them and that sort of thing. So it's a lot of upfront work, y'all. But I hope the payoff is going to be great because I saw her canvas at the end and it is just gorgeous. Um, so it came in this cylinder here. And stuff from Diamond uh, Painting Deutschland. Uh, it's packaged very well, and it's nice it was in a cylinder, and it had a lot of drill packs, obviously. So, let me show you how I did it. I have my um, Elizabeth Ward-like containers here. I have four of them, y'all. I took four to do it. Let me turn them around. They're heavy. So the system for organizing the drills um, is by category. 
So, I mean, you've got to look at all these symbols. Let me show you what, this is what the legend looks like. Keeps going and going and going. That's the legend, y'all. So I just cut it off the side of the canvas. So huge. I don't have the space to have it on there anyway. And it's just, you don't need that on there. It, actually, it's best to have it off of it so you can look at it. So that's it. I thought, oh my God, it would take me forever to even find it on that list. So using the categories, um, she came up with these categories. I thought, I'm going to do the same thing. It's going to be easier. The work is done for me. Thanks so much, Kimba. Kudos to you. So the system I'm going to use is numbers, letters, squares, diamonds, and circles. For example, see I put all my numbers together. Two, three, four. These are the actual symbols that you're going to see on the canvas right here. Then the letters come right after. Squares. See the all, type, all the types of squares? You can get really confused based on how you have your canvas oriented. So you've got little squares going that way with a dot, you know, this way and that way. These ones are black. These are dark blue. Here's some without the dots. Some more squares. <clears throat> We've got diamonds, excuse me y'all, <coughs> we've got circles, everything looks like a circle. So, you know, honestly it's a matter of preference too, I mean, that's a clock, but when I first look at that, I'm going to think circle. It just depends on what you're, you're going to think when you first see a symbol. Is it going to be a circle to you or is it going to be a miscellaneous? Is it going to be this or that? So you got to figure that out so that you can go and find your drills. That's the whole purpose is take the symbol, look at it, think of a category of what you're going to think of immediately when you see that symbol and that's how you categorize it. And you would spend less time trying to find your drills. So those are some categories. Next, triangles, arrows, lines, and U's. I'm giving, I'm giving Kim a total full credit on this, guys. I did not do this, she did this, so triangles, arrows, lines, all the different types of lines here, and then we've got U's, sideways U, upside down, and so forth. Don't know. See this one, you know, it's like, okay, how do you categorize that one? Is it what do you think of when you see this line with two circles? Well, I think of a line. Well, I hope I think of a line when I'm done in pain. If not, I'll go to the circles or vice versa, you know. It's just, again, a way to have you try to quickly find the drills that you need. Because, you know what? This is very confetti heavy. It's pure confetti. The whole thing. I'm going to put up a picture of it. So you'll see what the uh, picture looks like. But my fourth tray here, we have transportation, weather, and I put fire with weather eh, instead of a separate category. People and people parts, miscellaneous. Yeah, that miscellaneous one can grow and grow. I try to keep it small. Transportation, we've got car, sailboat, tram, 
we've got planes and so forth. Weather, we've got the moon, clouds, sun. Here's some fire symbols and a bomb. People, well, Pac-Man, you know, how you gonna, where are you gonna put Pac-Man? Is he gonna be miscellaneous or is he gonna be like people? Well, he's, he's got a head. So we're gonna put him in, um, in the people category. We got feet, hands, eyes, a person. What did I say was next? Miscellaneous? Yeah. Miscellaneous. No, we've got food. Did I forget to put food on here? Guys, you know what? I did. Forgot to put food on here. So I've got to put a label called food. There's a diamond. So what category are you putting the diamond? Actually, it should go back in the diamond, shouldn't it? See, I've already messed up and I need to reorganize now. So I probably should put that diamond back in the diamond category. It's good to go through these. Let's see where you messed up, you know? We got a basketball, some flags, music note. I'm probably pointing and you can't see it, but that's the gist of it. So it looks like I'm gonna to have to go through this again and reorganize some things. And probably do it as I go along. And here's the last one. Crosses, tools, technology, office, nature. Crosses, tools. Technology, batteries, and phones, and iPods, and cameras, computer, what is this? Office, yeah, office products, paper, labels, thumbtacks. So, I don't know, guys. We'll see how it works out. It's a start anyway. I was thinking that maybe I could organize by color within the category, but that's not always true because you could have the same type of symbol, like pointing in a different direction, and it would be a different color. So it's best to have your, your symbols all together, I think. Anyway. Wish me luck, guys, and I'll try to do progress updates as I go along. But in theory, I think this will help out a lot, and I want to thank Kimba again for all of her hard work. Whoops. Oh. Whose contact info are you? Oh, come on. That's my. Uh, I guess it was Siri popping up. <sighs> This is a cluster of a video, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and post it, you know. I'm not gonna redo it. I'm worried about these rivers. They call these things here rivers because they, they show up in the actual blue. So you can see, can you guys see, see that? Like the wrinkle there, I call on that a river or something like that. And I need to take my X-Acto knife and try to pop those rivers. Otherwise, the drills will sit up, you know, and not be level with the other drills. The one thing I like about this canvas, you see these little sections or little tiny sections here outlined in black? That's kind of nice. So you could pick the size of a full section that you would want to work on at the at the same time, you know. I could 
do like a, a four by four or a three by three or something like that. Keep the section small, but as you can tell, it's lots of confetti, y'all. But I think the payoff is going to be worth it. So come back and check out my progress videos. Uh, it's a goal of mine to have it finished next year, hopefully sometime, and just work on it as I feel like it in between events and that sort of thing, you know, and then work on some smaller things in between. Keep, keep some different whips going at the same time. So I appreciate you joining me today. Excuse me. <clears throat> um, and, uh, can't wait to start. I mean, it's, it's exciting. I've been putting it off for a while and it's something I really, really want. I really have the true spot for this painting. It's in my office. It's where I want it. I want to see it every day. So that is my motivation to get this done. All right, guys, uh, take care and thanks for joining me today and watching this mess of a video, but, uh, I, again, I want to, I can't thank Kimba enough for her work on, that she did on, um, trying to organize the drills. I've seen other people do it strictly by color, and I thought that uh, I would try this route first and see if this worked for me before I would just go the color route. So, happy painting, my friends. Enjoy yourselves and have a great day. I'll see you again soon. Bye now. Mm -hmm.